I never left. I was always here. And I've learned one thing from being a medical doctor is that you don't achieve anything without perseverance. So a loss wasn't going to deter me from the challenge that I wanted to have. And that challenge was to become a politician and a good politician. The reality is that um, when I said earlier that all politicians lose, that's a fact of life. And, and, and I, think, I think what is most important is to have the resolve to be able to dust yourself off and get back out and do the things that you believe you should do in a national interest. And that is basically um, why I have, I have taken this decision at this stage. And I believe that um, I have a legacy of representation that cannot be challenged. Sorry. And in particular to the people of St. Philip West, why no um, in this particular instance? And do you think that they're, they're ready to, to put you back in the, in the chair? Um, let's put it this way. Life is about decisions and choices. There is no politician that does not lose. There is no government that stays in power forever. So I have to accept that there was a, would be a time when I was going to lose. What you have to do is you have to determine how you're going to handle that loss and how you're going to bounce back from that loss. In fact, I would want to make a quotation essentially from the great Winston Churchill and when it was England alone fighting against Germany and Germany was coming across the, the straits, Churchill made the comment that countries that surrender fade away but countries that continue to fight rise again so in other words I've lost, and I take that loss as trade. But what it has done for me is to have given me the opportunity to re-focus. And it has also given me the opportunity um, to, to have taken some time off, a sabbatical. If I asked the party, formally, um, to give me a couple of years off. I wrote, wrote the Democratic Labour Party and said, give me a couple of years off because I, I was going for 25 years straight. And I thought it was important that after that type of political sojourn, that you stop and take stock and refocus and re-energize. And one of the things that I thought was necessary during that period of time was to strengthen my, my understanding of the relationship of government and the people, in particular economics and the development and the enhancement of the people's lives, etc, etc. And I think that uh, the two, three years that I've kept my mouth shut, that people were wondering whether Eswick is going to ever be back in politics again, I was using those three years very productively because I knew what I wanted to achieve. Now I think that I have um, not only recharged the batteries, but I have distilled out the specific knowledge that I need to be able to use going forward in helping Barbados out of this hole that is in and obviously helping to enhance the lives of the people of St. Philip West. That is basically uh, why the, um, the revisiting at this particular point in time, because it is now or never. I don't think there's any other never, never for Barbados unless we, we step in now.